Hey guys, so uh, this video is about uh, demonstrating my app, a web based application which I created using Django, which is a back a backend framework written in Python. I think this is my first voiceover ever on my uh, YouTube channel. So I hope everything turns out good, hopefully. So let's get started. So this application is about managing your passwords. Obviously, you might be using a lot of uh, websites out there, maybe a lot of web cards, and probably a lot of other uh, places where passwords come into play. And you might need uh, different passwords and secure passwords to store. And it creates a, it. It really becomes cumbersome uh, to manage all these passwords for different websites so keeping that in mind I created uh, this application uh, so basically what it would do let me demonstrate through uh, step by step so let's create a new user this is the register page so let's type um, James and uh, Jamie at 20 at the rate gmail.com Let's take this as a sample email address. So this is a collection of images which I use for various purposes. And uh, as a password, I'm going to enter pass one, two, three, four, five. I don't. Uh, I know it's very cliche and weak password, but that would do it for now. I don't uh, have much concern over it. So here I am. You have this message. You have successfully registered and you got to log in uh, to have access to this website which is what I'm going to do right now so um, I have used um, email as a login um, parameter you can also use gmail uh, I mean username mm -hmm. so pass one two three four five I believe that was a password which I set so I am now logged in and this is my secret key which this application generated uh, this whole application as I said earlier is coded in Django uh, which is a backend framework written in Python so here you can update your uh, profile settings so I think it, this is a good place to start with suppose I want to change my uh, profile picture there's an animation effect uh, which is uh, facilitated through the use of jQuery and here I selected the new image for my profile and there's this uh, size validations so uh, you cannot upload an image um, whose size is more than 1 MB so let me search for an image uh, which is less than 1 MB so this won't do it okay uh, yeah this one this one this joker image this this one looks fine so I clicked on updated image and there you go it updated my image and you can also update your username and password so here's uh, this field this will allow um, you to update your password so um, let's update my password okay the new password I would uh, apply is numbers from 1 to 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 uh, okay, this is the field which uh, where I need to insert my old password. So that's how it is going to work. Pass one two three four five. So I insert my old password and the new password I want one two three four five six. So I clicked on change password and uh, the password is not as strong enough. Must be at least eight characters long. So there's another validation uh, validation which I applied. Uh, I just noticed a small bug in my application so previously when I was trying to update my uh, password so I didn't set up the URLs to redirect to correctly basically I was trying to redirect to the dashboard page but the data dashboard page wouldn't have access to um, unauthorized user so since you changed your password so you wouldn't be able to be redirected to that page so I just did uh, a few minor tweaks I redefined this uh, logout redirect URL in the settings.py file and uh, hopefully this will work fine. I also created a new user 
by the name of Morgan and uh, the current password which I have is pass1234 so let's change it to something else well pass1234 and I want to change this to, to Pikachu12345 and let's click on this change password so there you have this message your profile password was successfully updated and you have been logged out from the system since your obviously your password is changed now so you need to log in so I am going to enter the email ID of the user which I was using to test and the updated password is pikachu12345 so hopefully yeah I am logged in so uh, the other features of this application is um, you can create category uh, let's say I need to have a category for my social network accounts so let's give this uh, this category name of social network accounts and let's click on submit so you have created new category and uh, from where you can see this category go to, to dashboard so you have a drop down here where you can view your password you can have uh, the file manager view I would talk about this file management what it is uh, later so let's go back to dashboard and um, manage passwords view all passwords so here um, this is the category which I earlier created um, you have this message you haven't stored any password as, as of now so let's create one so you can select category here so this is uh, the category which I created please enter account to which this password belongs so this is my Facebook password or maybe Twitter doesn't matter anyways so please enter your password so my password would be test password and uh, here you uh, you are given options to enter hints so that uh, your password could be identified so sample password not very strong password and there's also this uh, facility um, you can also upload image which can serve as a hint for your password so um, let me use this picture of Obama create new password and you have successfully created new password hint and I am redirected to the details page of this password which I just created so this belongs to social network accounts category and it is related to Twitter account the first password hint is sample password the second password is not very strong oh, that should be strong typo there my, uh, my bad so there's a password hint image but uh, still if you are not able to guess your passwords using all these hints you can as last resort you can use this uh, view details um, so ha huh, yeah uh, this option use reveal password this will actually reveal your password which I earlier set as test password so there it is you can also update hints sample not mm, I don't know probably a small bug sample updated sample updated hint the second password would be palace these are some some just some random words which are coming to my mind nothing else and uh, so let's click on update password hints so uh, as you can see the hints they are updated on this details page but uh, yeah they are updated here as well so all working fine you can also update your password and so these fields are already filled for you so you just need to update your password and probably a few more fields if you want to so let's go back for now and uh, so 
it's basically it okay let me wa walk you through this uh, generate password feature it seems if you haven't generated any password as of now so um, okay I went to the dashboard page uh, page again and there's this um, option of generating password so what it does it uh, basically generates a random strong strength a string uh, based on um, the level of security you need your passwords to be so let me into Facebook account let's say I want a very strong random password for my Facebook account um, this password would be used as my main account password and I want it to be very highly secure let's click on generate new password option and there you, ho oh, there you go so you have this ma success message you have successfully generated and a stored password for Facebook account and uh, there's, there's your password uh, description the level of security which th this password has you can delete this password you can update this password you can view password uh, so this was the password which was generated randomly through Django at the back end so there are functions which I used uh, for this um, so let's generate a new password I want this password to have a medium level of security and uh, I am updating this so just to make sure that this field w works uh, so okay I am updating this and the security level is now a medium and if I click on view password so I don't know you guys noticed or uh, it or not its length is less than the previous password has so it's all working fine all good to go you can also delete this password let's see the, if that feature is working or not let's just delete password page are you sure, sure you want to delete generated password for yes I am sure let's delete this password so generated password was successfully deleted and you are redirected to the tour uh, manage all passwords screen okay guys that's it for now I guess so you, you can find the source code for this uh, project um, inside the description of the video and uh, to further improve the project I plan to implement a file management system where you can upload a file with description and you can encrypt that file uh, using encryption algorithms I used so talking about encryption algorithms I think uh, where's is it inside the passwords views so this is the sample source code for this project and for encryption I have used um, yeah the cryptographic uh, cryptography library uh, for in Python and uh, from that library I have used for net uh, function um, I don't know how the inner mechanics uh, about hashing algorithm this uh, uh, function uses uh, but that's the one I'm using in this project so uh, that's it I guess for now so yeah bye bye, -bye.